Today we are test driving the muscular SUV looking hatchback Renault Cube. Renault designers can maintain its SUV theme from lower end of front bumper to the rear bumper. A big thumbs up to the designers for its eye catching design. At front, the projected bonnet line, rear lens headlight with slightly chrome insert, front grille with large Renault logo at the middle, design of the front bumper and the fog light housing give the car a muscular SUV look. Coming to the side, the wheels are 13 inch and looks proportionate with the rest of the car. The black wheel arches and the cladding on the door gives more character to the overall look. Roof rail is a part of general necessary and looks extremely good on the cube. Antenna is center mounted and looks modern. Neatly designed tail light, integrated spoiler, false skip light on the bumper give the rear end a neat look. The door opens widely. Ingress and egress isn't a problem even for the elder passengers. Inside the cabin, we are greeted with neat and well designed dashboard with piano black insert. The large 7 inch infotainment system comes with all the goodies including satellite navigation and reverse camera. Manual control for the AC vents feels upmarket. All the four AC vents can be closed properly. Front power window switches and door lock switch are placed below the AC control. The cup has plenty of storage areas at front. Two cup holders on the center console. On the dashboard, two deep glove boxes on the top and bottom. An open space at the center for easy access of things. The front door have one little bottle holder and a large door pocket to keep your things. The old digital instrument cluster is easy to read and provide us tons of information. I am 5 feet 8 and adjust the front seat for my driving position. Now I adjust the front seat to liberate maximum space at the back. The front seat comes with integrated headrest. The seat scope is decent and provide good under thigh support. Rear seat offers good headroom and shoulder room and can accommodate 3 passengers. Boot door and fuel gate can be released internally. For convenience, they are placed in different length and height. Boot space is exceptionally large for the segment. Deep and well shaped. But the loading lip is little bit high from the ground. Take a drive and find out how good performs on road. Starting the motor, we can hear the three cylinder clattering sound. The refinement of the motor at ID isn't that great. The placement of the reverse gear is on the left side, just near the first gear. We have to slightly accelerate the car to get move on. After getting a momentum, the performance from the motor is decent. Gear slotted well and throws are short. But the gear shifting and the clutch is slightly heavier compared to the competition. In gear acceleration is good.
steering is light and easy to maneuver around cities and traffic conditions. The Q comes with two engine options. A 800cc 3 cylinder motor produces 54 bhp of power at 5600 rpm and a 1 litre 3 cylinder motor produces 68 bhp at 5500 rpm. The 1 litre motor is better refined and comes with the convenience of automatic and manual transmission. Right now we are driving the 800cc motor. This is not a speed test or we don't shift the gears at red line. This is just to show you that how it could perform in daily lighting condition if the driver required slightly more speed. that the motor can attain triple digit speed without any fuss. Light quality is good and better than some of its rivals. The handling and dynamics is decent for the car of this segment. The cube also has a climber variant with some cosmetic updates and comes with First in segment, rear center armrest. Considering the pricing of the car, the feature list it offers, we doesn't have any complaint about. But just to inform you that cost cutting is evident inside out. Some exposed screws and cables, the boot doesn't have a cladding on the exterior, single wiper, three wheel nuts, and doesn't have a plastic cladding below the wiper. The claimed mileage of Q is around 25 kilometers, but in our test, we are getting a mileage of 14 to 15 km in the city and 19 to 21 km on the highway. On the safety side, Kid offers front and rear ELR seatbelt and an optional driver airbag. Compared to nearest competition, the Alto, the Kid, a larger car inside out. That means better leg room, headroom and shoulder room and good list of features. Auto offers better refined motor, slightly more initial power and fuel efficiency. Renault Cube is a practical hatchback in limited budget. It offers great list of features, comfortable riding and can accommodate 4 or even 5 full size passengers without any compromise. If you like our video and find it useful, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching 0 to 9 Media.